what's going on everybody how y'all doing i want to show you guys a way to make an incredible amount of double weapon xp well weapon xp during double weapon xp weekend now basically how it is is you go into plunder and you do supply runs so you get so you pick up the contract and then you end up going to a buy station but what you can do during a double weapon xp weekend is get four times as much xp as you would without xp so basically you think that it's only a uh, double xp right but you can activate a token you go into your tokens uh for now it's glitch i can't, I can't do it I can, I can only do it when i actually click it but so i'm going into a plunder match i view my tokens activate double weapon xp token and i thought that before it wouldn't stack so if, if, if even if you have 10 it's not going to give you like 20 times as much xp but um it, i don't know why I don't know why it stacks for, I, th I think, only one token. So, during double weapon XP weekend, you'll get 1,000 XP for a um, for a weapon, for, well, for a supply run. And then, if you end up activating a token, you get 2,000 XP. So, it's incredibly quick. And I'm someone that uh, does not like Cold War, so I do not want to uh, level up my weapons in Cold War. And uh, Plunder is just the way to go. I mean, it's, it's incredibly fast. Even without the the double xp token it's still pretty fast but i definitely recommend doing it. i mean you're getting basically four times xp which is pretty ridiculous now is it the funnest way no but it's obviously faster than cold war faster than modern warfare i mean it's it's pretty insane so um now i'm basically running uh four times xp so just to show you guys how it is i did testing before um i ended up getting 1000 xp when I didn't have the token activated, but it was still double weapon XP, right, for the weekend. And now I activate the token, so I have basically a double weapon XP token and double, X, double weapon XP weekend. So that's four times XP, so basically I should be getting 2,000 XP, so I should be at uh, 3,053. And we're going to see that. So, basically what you want to do, it's a pretty, it's pretty easy method. Um, I recommend getting a chopper much easier to fly around when you have a helicopter around so I usually like going for the ones that are not um, contested and usually it's at the end of the plane ride but here there's none really at the end of the plane ride right so I'm just gonna go for a hot drop here at the um, at an airport if that doesn't work then uh, too bad you know so I'll try that one out see how it is actually this is perfect there's a uh, chopper right here at Boneyard I didn't see that one before I mean, I could go to the one at the airport, but it's probably probably going to be contested by people. The, the one at Boneyard should be fine. The and then we have a quick, quick buyer right here Lock we can take. You'll lead them in. And uh, this is a great method. Like, if you're, if you're trying to go for Dark Matter or Dark Game, I definitely recommend um, doing uh, this strat instead of leveling up inside the game. Because it's just uh, it's, uh, it's, it's too, too long. Cold War it takes way too long. It's much faster uh, this way. I mean, you get basically four times as much XP as you would when you're doing a supply run without the uh, double XP weekend or token so it's, it's pretty insane you're getting 2000 XP per supply run it takes literally 20 seconds well 20 seconds to fly there but it's very 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 quick oh my god that guy's mad he literally fell on my oh jeez fell right on my blades I just chop them, chop them up. Alrighty. So look, so now we have enemy UAV overhead. You know, and you want to make sure you have your weapon out. I think it still might work without your weapon out. I'm not sure exactly. And uh, you also want to make sure you're running a uh, trophy system as your um, field upgrade. That's just important, you know. Because you don't want uh, you don't want to get blown up. So let's see here, let's see here. So 1053 XP, I should be at 3053 XP at the end of this, you will see. And um, this is the strat I'm going to do when I'm trying to level up weapons. Look at this, bada bing bada boom. We did it. There's a lot of people around here though. And look at this, 3,053 XP. That's insane, you get 2,000 XP per supply run, and then if I actually kept my chopper... Oh jeez. Oh well. 
<laughs> I pressed press my mouse button there, Maxton. But if I if I kept my chopper and I kept on doing them, like you could bang out like seven supply runs, like seven like is the minimum if you're having like you know a pretty good day. Otherwise, you can get like five if you're really getting screwed. But I'm um, usually it's seven to like eleven or twelve, so that's that's pretty insane. That's like ten thousand XP. Uh, no, that's like more, more like 14, 16,000 XP per uh, per game, which is like 10 minutes. So you, you can bang out in multiple levels, and it's much faster than Cold War. Like the first levels, you can get first 20 levels in like one game. It, it's, pre it's pretty insane, this method. So you get four times as much XP as you would without uh, all these uh, tokens, right? The weekend and the, and the token. So it's pretty damn crazy, this method. It's very fast to level up weapons. I mean, you can level up all of them much, much, much faster than playing Cold War or Modern Warfare. So, definitely recommend doing this strat. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did any support, we much appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.